tie-dye. It's not just for t-shirts. Let's do another crinkle, scrunchy kind of tie-dye today. We're going to do a man's 100% cotton dress shirt, but it says it's wrinkle-free, so I'm kind of curious to see what the difference is. The texture of the material is kind of slick, so I'm curious to see how the dye is going to take up on this. I'm going to position the shirt um, and start to just walk my fingers through the fabric just to crinkle it up, give it a scrunch. I've got the body of the shirt done, and then I'll work on the arms and get them scrunched up as well. Once I have a nice crinkly scrunched up design, I'll start to secure it with a rubber band, making sure that the design doesn't fold in on itself and lays as flat as possible. Alright, let's tie-dye this shirt. On the top third of the shirt, I'm going to use gunmetal gray. And then turn it over and do the same on the top third of the other side of the shirt. And now we're going to do the same. The middle third of the shirt, we're going to add a stripe of dragon fruit. I'm going to lay it right on pretty liberally, turn it over, and do the same on the other side of the shirt. Now for our third color, on the bottom third of the shirt, we're going to do a stripe of navy and turn it over and do the same, a third stripe of navy and then just do a splash of navy just across both sides of the shirt just to add some depth to the color. And then we'll store the shirt in a Ziploc bag for about 24 hours. there you have it. A tie-dye dress shirt. Turned out really cool. I can't wait to wear it. And remember, be peaceful, be kind. The world needs more color. And I'll talk to you soon.